Hey guys. Hi. It has been one year since we moved into the house we built. Oh yeah. Yes. <laughs> Immediately after moving in, it felt like a honeymoon because it is so quiet and peaceful here. And it's kind of never stopped feeling like a honeymoon, which is cool because we never actually had a honeymoon. Or weddings. Weddings. <laughs> weddings are actually, we had some friends over. It turns out most of our friends didn't have a wedding ceremony. I so still we're in good company. Yeah. <laughs> so um, we took a very, very, very long time to plan our house, much longer than people would typically take. And I would say all of that work paid off because we absolutely love our house. There are very, very few things that we wish we could change. I love how peaceful and quiet and more like less people, less populated it but, is yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Neighbor, they bring us lots and lots of veggies. <laughs> Let me go get what I just got. They're so nice. Our neighbor, we, one of our neighbors just let us like um, harvest his sweet potatoes and peanuts. He was growing peanuts. Like, have you ever seen how peanuts are grown? It was like a whole new mind blown thing for me. It was so much fun. These are just only a small example of what we, what we just <laughs> got in the last month. Sweet potatoes, rice, and homemade, homemade mochi, mochi. From rice that they grew. Kabu, kabu ananda, like pepper radish, I think. Yeah. Look at the size of this radish. It's like the size of my head. Someone will harvest their veggies and then they have so much, they bring like a giant bag to one neighbor and that neighbor takes some of it and then gives some of that to another neighbor. Osusowake, ne? Osusowake. So, if that's what that's called, that yeah. process? Yeah, osusowake. Eh. This rice, this potato, these were grown by the, uh, our, the farmers we know, yeah. our neighbors, but this one, we don't even know originally this one, like where this is from. Yeah. Like, just, it's been, it's been passed down. Yeah. More than anything else, our cats are super happy. They love it here. They've yeah. been so active. Rachel wanted a carpet for the entire second floor. I uh, never grew up with this, so I was not sure, but I'm in love with it. Thank you. I like <laughs> how it feels. Yeah. I like how uh, like warmer in winter. Mm. And I like Especially, I like how cats... They can sprint. Sprint. Nagi loves sprinting up here so much. <laughs> made the door sen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Walking routes a little bit wider, like hallway. We made it about 10 to 15 centimeters wider than like uh, average. Yes, doorways. Doorways. And space around our furniture. So like there's more space to walk around our bed. So I'm not like constantly jamming my shin into the corner of it. And we take out a lot of walls that we didn't want yeah. to make the entire house more, uh, feel more spacious. Make sure the room felt a little bit spacious, but then not so big that it's wasting space. Size-wise, it's not like big or so much bigger or anything. But yeah. the routes, those thing is wider, yes. which is nice. When we decided to build our house, we went with a housing maker that prioritized quality like it's steel, there's concrete, all of the windows are double paned with argon gas. Insulation is much better than um, most Japanese houses. This is our solar panel information tablet. We've had about a year in here so we can see like generally how much energy we've been using throughout the year plus how much we've been generating. So this is what we're generating. Hatsuden, two kilowatts. This is what we're using. Shouhi. 0.9 kilowatts. And this is what we're selling. Biden selling. Um, this is unusual for us right now because the only reason we're not using heat right now is because we're filming a video, which makes me anxiety sweat. So I'm like really, I'm really hot. <laughs> You're hot. You're generating. <laughs> I'm generating enough heat for our house right now. <laughs> this is our daily usage. This is probably our worst month to date. It's been really cold so far this winter. We've bought about 250 and sold 30. This is the worst month. November, it was much better. We generated 91% of our energy usage. Our best months are obviously spring and fall when we don't need much heating and cooling. 
May 170, that was great. Year to date, we've evened out on 82% of the energy that we've used. Yeah, and so. all in all, long term, it's definitely worth buying the solar panel. Of course, of course. Yeah. So there were a few like larger investments with our house that we wanted the upgrades for, uh, which is one of the reasons we asked them to leave some things unfinished just to save like money where we could. You did a great job in the bathroom, thank you. You're welcome. Mm. I'm <laughs> I really loving like it. it too. <laughs> yeah, I'm loving it. So probably one of our biggest investments was the roll screens because they're electric. I did a ton of research looking up different companies with roll screens. I literally had an Excel sheet showing different options to June. I think total it cost about $11,000 for all of our roll screens uh, and, and making them electric. So that was kind of pricey, but so necessary. Like, can you imagine having to like... <laughs> it's also because we decided to have many, many windows. I really wanted it to be bright. When you were in the Air Force, you even got vitamin D deficiency because you didn't get enough sunlight and stuff, right? <laughs> I woke up before sunrise and then I went into a bunker that had no windows and then I left after sunset. So I literally did not see the sun most days. So yes, it is super thanks to our sponsors like Sakurako yeah, that that we've been able to afford building a house and continuing like our DIY projects. This box is gorgeous. Look at this. Sakurako is a monthly Japanese snack box subscription service. Every month the theme is different. This one it's New Year's in Niigata. We've been to Niigata a couple times. Yes, I love the Yaiko village. It was so great. Oh yeah, and um, the koi fish was Sado Island in Niigata. Oh right! Yeah, all of these fields. We had the beautiful footage from the mountains when we used our drone. Niigata is very beautiful. Yes, it's it's, beautiful place. it was very beautiful. I have to... <gasps> drone! <laughs> June, look at this bunny! <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god, it's the New Year bunnies! Oh, his butt cheeks out. He's getting some cheek action. <laughs> so that's the first thing you pay attention to when you first saw the I'm snack? I'm sorry, if I see an image of a person and their butt cheek is out, yes! That's gonna be one of the first things I notice. <laughs> <laughs> Every box comes with tea and some form of tableware. I know, I'm, I'm, really, I'm really curious. This is the first time we've had a little box shaped like this. Yunomi? Yunomi? Oh, Yunomi? Oh, sake or no? Sakurako sake cup. Alright, that makes sense for Niigata since you said Niigata is famous for rice. Sake is made from fermented rice, which is also like. Yes, written here. Ginjo. I also did the Ginjo samples. I didn't know that off the top of my head. It was written here. I just read it and then pretended like I knew stuff. Do you know I don't really drink much, unfortunately? Maybe fortunately. I mean, you don't have to drink sake. It, it saves us money. Sakurako works with lots of local snack manufacturers. Oh, Jane, what's this? Come guess. By smell. Rice tea? So Rachel, Hi. it is bean kinako. That's why it smells like kinako. I don't think you've had black bean tea. There's like an underlying sweetness to it. Ah, oh, uma. <laughs> Ine. Oh, I do love this sweet flavor. It's very subtle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Every box comes with 20 snack items. This upcoming year is Year of the Rabbit, which is why they've got the little bunnies in here. Look at this thing. It is so cute. I don't want to eat it, but I do really want to eat it. Okay. <laughs> Niigata Namban shrimp cracker. Uh, all the rice crackers, rice snacks from Niigata is good. I think a lot of most mm. rice snacks are made in Niigata. Oh, really? I feel like they come from Niigata. <laughs> good. God. You can have that piece, but I really need this other one. Wait, that's not how it works. <laughs> that's a special Niigata strawberry oh, cream. Ichigo-jan. Hey, Ichigo-jan. Omurais da ne. Omurais da ne. No, it's a cream. Yeah, yeah, omurais. Omuretsu desho, kore. Kora, mou omurais da, omuretsu da ya, kore. 
<laughs> ora, ora, ora. Actually, yeah, it really does look like a. Omurets. Yeah. But it's actually it strawberry like crepe. Mm. I can smell the strawberry. It's really good. Really, really creamy. Take this a sip of tea. It goes really well with like a black bean tea. Get my tea. Doesn't it? This is so good. Yeah, this combination. This is a special Niigata box, which is in collaboration with the Niigata government to help share Niigata's culture, which is rice. I didn't actually know that. I just thought of koi fish because we went to the koi fish. Mm. But I guess rice is like more. You saw what you meant. If you're interested in trying sakuroko with this incredibly beautiful box and super delicious snacks, this is a good month to try because until January 31st, sakuroko is giving away free tickets to Japan. <laughs> he went snacks too. And if you use our code and link in the description box, you can also get $5 off your first box. Good job being so healthy, buddy. I'm really proud of you. <laughs> Thank you so much to Sakuroko for sponsoring our video. I'm gonna eat a little bit more of this and then we'll get back to the okay. house update. Thank you so much. There aren't very many negatives that we've noticed, just some small things here and there. Like we realized with our storage room that because there's no airflow in there, if we leave the door shut, um, it some of our stuff got moldy over the summer. Japanese summers are so so humid, it's subtropical here. But because of that, and because we always had our storage door shut, there was no airflow. And so now I'm reorganizing our storage room. So this is our storage room. We're using our old kitchen cabinets in here for storage. I need to make sure almost everything in here can shut so that the cats can like come in here and not get into anything so I can leave the doors open and so I can get air and not get moldy again. This is the bathroom Rachel design and DIY. <laughs> it's still looking amazing. This is still probably my favorite room in our house and I don't even use this one. This is Jim's bathroom. Thank you. <laughs> um, Lots of DIY. But one thing we might have changed was the height of this counter. Japanese bathroom counters are really low as a standard, especially compared to America, where the counters are like much higher. We kept this one standard and it feels quite low, even for me and especially for June. Considering the location and size, um, we decided to have a ceiling AC, but I realized that we didn't need this. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's what I would change, I think. It's nice to have, but we didn't need it. I probably would yeah. have taken that out so that we could save more money. One thing I would have done was support panels in the walls. If you want to hang something that's more than like maybe three kilograms, we had to put extra support panels inside the walls so that there would be like a, a wooden board that we could like hang things into. I would have put them in more walls. I would have, I, I actually would have too. Yeah, I would have put them in every single wall. I already did many places, like here in the Gen Con, I knew I wanted to put a mirror there. So there's a support panel so we can have this super heavy Ikea mirror. Um, Everywhere in the office, in the kitchen, but I think I would yeah. have it more. I would have done that and in the ceiling so that we could put ceiling fans wherever we want. Actually, I think it would have been nice to have a ceiling fan in the bedroom. One of the things I was curious about was the bug, the indoor bug situation. Every single building in Japan basically has cockroaches. If you're in a city, especially like high up in buildings, then you might be able to avoid them or only ever see like little tiny ones. But we're a little bit more rural, so we got bigger. Bigger cockroaches. We got it. We got it then. Centipede? Giant centipede. Oh, so they got Inside the house? Probably it was living in the planter. When I just lift up the planter to water the plants, he was circling up. So I took the plate and then gently take him outside. How big was it? It was pretty big. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, God. I'm glad I found it. You need to be cats. careful. <laughs> but, I wonder. Um, if our house guardian is still here. We can't see anymore because we put a filter in here. Oh, right. There was a Yamori. We have a, a Yamori a gecko everywhere. Living in our inside house. there, which was really, really adorable. But um, because we're kind of rural and they're 
there's farmland. Farmers burn their crops when they're done. Because of that, like there are seasons where sometimes it's smoky outside. And so we found like the spots where smoke could come inside the house and then we put filters. Ashidaka spiders, they can be like this. Huntsman spiders are not native to Japan, but they've actually carved themselves out a very beneficial niche here. And they are so beloved. Japanese people colloquially refer to them as like- Gunso, I don't Yes, Ashidaka Gunso, Sergeant Huntsman. <laughs> because they, they hunt down the cockroaches. They don't make webs. They don't live inside the house. They actually live on like tree bark outside, but they will come into your house, hunt down, all of the cockroaches at night. And then once they've eaten all of your cockroaches, they'll move to the next house and then leave you alone. It's so cool. It's just like a free service. <laughs> they just come <laughs> to your house every now and then. So um, I think they're the coolest thing ever, but they are truly terrifying when you encounter them because they're only active at night. So you only see them like after you turn off all of the lights in your house and then you've got like your phone flashlight on and then you're going to bed and then suddenly you get to the stairs and then like right here, there's the largest spider in Japan, just like here and you're like, oh. What you're supposed to do is just leave it. Just go to another room and forget about it. The thing is we have four cats and sometimes our cats go after. Her. So I took the spiders like five, six times outside. Yeah. 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 So, um, yes, house life, even brand new house life in Japan in a somewhat rural area involves very large insects. Of course, outside there's the giant praying mantises, the ones that get like this long. There's all of the giant cicadas. We got the Hercules beetles. There's the giant mukade, which could be like this long and like this wide. I don't know what it is about rural Japan. It's like prehistoric gigantic insect territory. There, wait, there's those like giant bees, the June lakes, and they're like freaking monsters. Because of all of these insects, especially all those mosquitoes, that's why we have so many geckos and lizards and frogs and toads, because they're eating all of those insects. You also have fireflies so, as well. So we can't complain about having a lot of insects because it's thanks to them that we have so much amazing biodiversity here and we get to see all of the cute little amphibians and reptiles. And so there's not much I would change about this house. I think we planned it out really well. I'm really proud of myself for my obsessive level of research. You did a great job. I'm also looking forward to your more yeah, my projects. Me too. All in all, I would say um, <laughs> extremely positive, A+. Plus. We absolutely love our house. Our lives have been significantly improved since moving here. And it's all thanks to you guys. Thank you so much. Thank you. Keep making more videos. And I'm excited to make more cooking videos as well. Yeah. Boogie. With you guys. Boogie. Thank you so much for watching. Okay. Bye. Bye. Have a great year.